Thing is, everyone, I've got my Twitter handle back. It is solved. I This actually happened, like, over 24 hours ago. You can now find me at Viva La Dill. Just at Viva La Dill. Any time before this where I have told you to go follow Viva La Dill TV is null and void. Forget about it. Now, if you're wondering, well, what happens if I go and try and find this Viva La Dill TV? Well, it takes you to my old account, which is now active again, because my old account had the Viva La Dill handle, but years and years, years ago, when was my last tweet? 2009. 2009, I signed up for one of those, like, automatic tweet out things, like, so you could schedule tweets, except for, I think back then they weren't as good, and one of them, like, got hacked, and then my account started tweeting out spam, and then Twitter blocked me for tweeting out spam. And I could never get it fixed back then, and they said I'd need to wait months, because I was there for a certain amount of time, and I was like, I'm not waiting months, and I went and started another Twitter, and never looked back. Anyway, after many emails, resetting passwords, proving who I am, who I am, and blah, 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 I got that account back, switched the usernames over, so now my old account is Viva La Deal TV, which now just says, Go to, go to, it says go to at Viva La Deal. What is now funny about this is that some tweets have just gone hurrah, missing. Like, Nick tweeting at me every day to tell me to read more books. He's still tweeting at Viva La Deal TV. So that's now coming to this account. Ha! Suckers! This account um, made me want to delete all my tweets on it because it's, um, pretty fucking terrible, and I'm not sure if there's anything that's in here that's inappropriate. Just watch my bloody Valentine in three dimensions. I have a headache. Dylan and Megan Fox make a porno. A, A, nine. Ready for tea now. Yum, yum. Has been skating all day and is going to catch a bus home now. Having a bath, having a smoke, having an ice cream. I hate Super Stardust HG. Them asteroids always kill me. At stupid. I like bed a lot and I'm still spelling spelling a lot incorrectly at this stage. There's 1,397 tweets on this account. Is sleeping, snore, snore, going to bed. I was one of these fuckers. These were all obviously, I was, in, I was still in high school when I had this account. Uh, sex ed, hoorah. Ooh. <laughs> I love young Dylan. Staring at Apocalypto. Wow, reading films are fun. <laughs> Fruit Loops! A tweet from Dylan. Anyway, the po point of the story is... The point of the story is that you have to go follow at Viva La Dill now, not Viva La Dill TV, because that is dead! Next time you see a tweet that says Viva La Dill TV, don't come. Bury it. TV's dead. Bury it. Not me. One of those days at work where I was like, I can't even with views right now. I just need... Five minutes to have a breather. Woosa. 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 But I don't get five minutes to have a breather. Lego Batman in about half an hour. This should cheer me up. Because I love the original Lego movie. I was going to go see Ghost in the Shell tonight, but I'm like, if that fucking movie annoys me, there's a chance that movie will annoy me and I'm already in an annoyed mood. No Ghost in the Shell. Today is not your day. Right, I mean, it's, I don't think it's anywhere near on Lego, the Lego movie, 
level. I think that movie's way better. I think that movie's a lot funny. I think that movie has a lot more heart. I think that movie has way better songs. I think the Lego movie overall compared to the Batman Lego movie is a lot better on all different kinds of levels. Um, as a Batman movie, I think the Lego movie is, uh, I mean, it's trying to parody Batman a lot, so it's like hard to compare it to it. It is funny though. It's great. Um, if you hated the way they portrayed Batman in the Lego movie, where he's like really, 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 really self-obsessed and they're trying to be all funny with that, and he's like, I'm into heavy metal, all this sort of thing. You, you'll fucking hate this because it's just more of that, more of those jokes, heaps of those jokes. Um, it's really enjoyable though. Um, lots of it made me laugh. There's heaps of jokes for kids, heaps of jokes that everyone can get. There's some lowbrow humor. And yet at the same time, there's a lot of jokes that are going to go completely over kids' heads. Um, that I think are really, really funny. Like how the movie opens with this plane flying along that just so happens to be full of heaps of dynamite and it's called the MacGuffin plane or something like that. That's funny. That's a good joke. But then the big, the big villain end all thing, I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of it. Eh, it's good though. I just wasn't as good as I wanted it to be and it wasn't as good as the actual Lego movie. Not for being too negative, I did enjoy it. Just didn't think it was as good as the Lego movie. Or that the trailers would have me believe. Did enjoy my time though, please shut up. It was a good movie. It was not as bad one. Also, I didn't know they was doing a Ninjango movie. Like I didn't know that was actually already nearly finished, like coming out soon. They showed a trailer for it and when I looked, walked out of the cinema, there was a poster for it. I'm like, oh, I knew they announced this. Watch the trailer for that in cinema. That looks funny too. All these damn Lego movies. Huh.